everybody. I just wanted to show you um, how I personally use the 3D Fiber Lashes by Unique. Um, some people use the mascara underneath because that's what the instructions say. Um, I personally do not. I use just the transplanting gel and the fibers. So as you can see, I have super, super, super short eyelashes. Really thin. Really boring. But anyway, so I'll do one eye first so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to try to do it with this camera. It's kind of hard, but anyway, I'm going to figure it out. get one like you put the transplanting gel first so just like regular mascara you put the transplanting gel on first go all the lashes make sure they're nice and coated you can do the backs if you wanted to and then you get your fibers see like the little hairy thingies on them and you just go lightly over the tips of your lashes. You can already see the difference. Usually we'll let that one dry and then um, go to the other side, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that side until I finish this side so you can see the difference. Um, so then you kind of wait a little bit, make sure it's all dry. And then you get your transplanting gel again. And just go back over that, making sure to seal all those fibers in. I love the faces we make when we're putting mascara on. That's one coat. You can build if you want it to. So when that's all dry, you can go back in, do a little bit of gel on the tips and put a little bit more fibers on. I just actually like it the way that it is with one coat with this new formula. So it's up to you. You can do what you want. Let's see. And I'll do the other side real quick. Papers. You go back over with the transplanting gel just to seal those fibers in. And all done. Now you can go back if you wanted to put some on the bottom. I sometimes do the bottom, but. Mostly just put the gel on the bottom if I'm going to do anything. Can you see?
Anyways, just wanted to do a quick little show to show you exactly how I do them, how super easy they are, and how amazing they can get. 